What's up, everybody? Mayor Reynolds, aka Midnight Mayor, coming at you with another Dead Drop video. This is your number one source on YouTube for Dead Drop and Midnight Society information, other than Midnight Society themselves, of course. So, welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. Today, I want to discuss something that a lot of people seem unaware of, and that is basically what Dead Drop is and whether or not PVE elements will be included in the game. Spoilers, guys. PVE is included in dead drop and i'm going to show you the confirmations and i'm going to speculate and talk about what's likely to come so here we go so again right now and i understand why there's a this discrepancy or a lack of understanding dead drop is a called a vertical extraction shooter an extraction shooter is a game like escape from tarkov call of duty dmz marauders hunt showdown and so on all those games have several things in common they are pvpve games they blend both pvp multiplayer players against players and players against environment, which is you know, your, your tr traditional NPCs, AI enemies, however you want to call it. Uh, that's what Dead Drop actually is. And right now I know, I know in the snapshots that we're playing, and right now as I record this video, we are on snapshot 1.5, it is strictly PvP. And let's we're going to talk about this and break this down for you guys, because there's several different ways they can go with this. But right on MidnightSociety.com, go to MidnightSociety.com, the official Dead Drop website and website of Midnight Society, the developer of the game, and go to MidnightSociety.com slash Dead Drop. It's right up here. Right here, it says PvPVE free to play vertical extraction shooter Unreal Engine 5 with, with ray tracing. So this is a confirmation that there's going to be some type of PvE activity in the game. That's what all extraction shooters that we have so far are. And I know a lot of us are coming from battle royale backgrounds or arena shooter backgrounds or tactical shooter backgrounds because Dead Drop plays very fast, very sweaty, very competitive, very fun, uh, especially contrasting it with a lot of the existing extraction shooters on the market. It is much faster. It is much more competitive, much more athletic, as the doc would say, right? And I really enjoy that. And I think that's what makes dead drop they're unique as an extraction shooter so don't worry i have i have complete faith that midnight society will not take dead drop and kind of dumb down the experience i think they're going to approach the pvpve in a very unique way and i think that the lobbies are going to stay just as competitive as they are now so let's talk about that next when i say pvpve and when I say pve i'm not talking about like a single player campaign right where i don't think we're going to see anything like a, a Halo campaign or a Call of Duty campaign in Dead Drop. Though I think the Dead Drop universe is amazing and has a lot of really cool potential for some really unique, dark, gritty stories to be told in it. I don't think we're going to see anything like a traditional just solo player campaign. Do I think there's going to be quests and NPCs in this game? Yes, I do. And in a lot of those quests, who knows? It might be go in and extract these items, survive for this amount of time, kill this many players, kill, you know, there's going to be a variety of tasks. I just killed Caramel, one of the Midnight Society mods in that clip, by the way. Thanks. That raises the question, how will PvE and PvPVE be worked into Dead Drop? This is all speculation from here on out, guys. There's no official information from Midnight Society, so don't take this as gospel. But what I see happening is, it may, you know, there's supposed to be seven sectors in the game. I'm speculating that some sectors may weigh more heavily towards PvE, well, some may weigh more heavily towards PvP. That is total speculation on my part, depending on the size of the map, the map design. You know, maybe some maps, like the one we're playing, will be PvP only. Maybe Cold Storage will be PvP only for 30-some players. Maybe it will go to another map, much like something like Hunt Showdown, and maybe it'll be mostly PvE, but with, you know, seven other players on the map. They can take this a variety of directions, and they don't need to use a singular system on every single map and it'll change the pace of play it'll change how you approach each map again total speculation do not take this as gospel for all i know they may be going in a totally different direction i'm just playing this out because we have no pve information right now so we're expecting some type of ai enemies to be on the map like in escape from tarkov or marauders or dmz and in my opinion dmz does it in a pretty boring manner they're just, you know, AI soldiers that shoot at you. And it's not that they're not threats. You know, in Marauders and Tarkov, like, those those can be, you know, quite threatening. You can die very fast. But I, I think because the universe of Dead Drop is so unique, and there's this cool 
80s 90s vision of the future i think we might see some pretty cool enemy designs so of course i'm sure we'll see some traditional like you know npcs like soldier type from the dead drop universe kind of thing but i think they could do some really cool cyberpunk robotic type stuff and as a matter of fact we've already seen uh some unique uh enemy designs that almost look like a terminator from uh the early snapshots that kind of what they look like some robots and i think we could end up fighting some stuff like that in pve and i've got a bunch of ideas here for like rare spawn mobs or or people speculate like boss mobs you know that maybe will take a few people to take down or what if like within a certain part of the sector like you could you could go open a door somewhere for example or you know there's people patrolling uh this certain part and you you have to like opt into that part like you have to open a door to go into it that kind of thing like who knows what they're cooking up right but it is confirmed that dead drop is a pv pve game don't make any mistake there's a number of other things that could weigh in the pve content as well you know we've got our car which is going to be in the game we're speculating snapshot 7 is the next time we're going to see it which you'll be able to customize maybe there'll be a minor gameplay loop with that i personally don't think so but you never know the garage and the car were built into the game for a reason and you don't know what's coming there's i'm sure you know there's going to be factions that's already been mentioned there's factions mentioned in, in the variant guide and in the dead drop lore that we have you know cleaners are what we believe will be like hostile occupiers of the tower those are kind of the the pve basic soldiers occupying the tower that we're expecting to fight against there's a ton of ton of different directions they can take this they have a great universe and uh, i'm confident that they'll nail something that that keeps up the current pace of play from snapshot 5 which is super competitive and, and you know all about pvp while also blending pve elements i've also considered the fact that if they do something like competitive mode because a lot of us are playing dead drop competitively at this early stage of the game that maybe that competitive mode or the ranked mode or whatever you know will be pvp only so maybe when you queue up for like the the main mode so to speak um you know you're gonna have pvp -E. maybe when you queue up for ranked mode you're gonna have pvp only i don't know i'm speculating here i'm just laying out the different options that they have and that they may be considering as they design dead drop going into the future so that's really it for this one guys i just wanted to give you guys a confirmation and a reminder that dead drop will be a pvp -E game unless Midnight Society has somehow pivoted from their original philosophy for the game. I'd love to hear from you guys what types of PvPVE content you'd like to see implemented into Dead Drop. Are you interested in stories and narrative? Are you interested in, you know, having, for example, some really unique, almost like cyberpunk or, or doom, like dare I even say, maybe not demons, but those types of really creative bosses or enemies in the game? Would you, would you prefer just a militaristic style enemy it's going to be running around and you know just shooting assault rifles at you those kinds of things let me know if you like the concept of pv pve pve and dead drop or you know do you just love the core combat so much right now which hey <laughs> i'm open to try everything i understand that this is planned to be a pv pve game but i am loving the pvp only experience as well and i think midnight society knows that they are building a very special pvp experience and I, my personal guess is that we will get modes or whatever that are PvP only in Dead Drop. But with that said, guys, thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more Dead Drop and Midnight Society coverage. Because this is the place to get it, again, other than Midnight Society themselves. We are building the most robust and comprehensive Dead Drop channel on YouTube. We've got guides of all kinds. We've got game update coverage. We've got montages. We've got funny proximity chat stuff. We've got it all, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Check out this message from one of our sponsors. Consider supporting it to help the channel out. This video is sponsored by Control. Control is gamers' go-to brand for protein, for nutrition. This is stuff that gamers have not traditionally done very well with, right? We all got that gamer diet where we eat Doritos and things that we shouldn't eat. Control is your solution to that. And you can use code MARE at checkout to get 10% off. They have these meal shakes, meal replacement shakes, protein shakes, whatever you want to call them. And they've got amazing flavors like cinnamon toast, cookies and cream, peanut butter crunch, fruity flakes, cocoa crunch, apple smacks, gingerbread cookie. My personal recommendations is gingerbread is really good. Cinnamon toast is really good.
Think of your favorite cereal and then think of it in protein shake form. You're going to love these flavors. It's going to help with your nutrition. And more of us gamers need to think about this. So use code MAYOR at checkout to get 10% off. We'll see you out there.